Financial Modeling and Valuation Steps The financial modeling and valuation steps are as follows. 1. Gather historical financials. 2. Build the financial statement model. 3. Find adjusted EBITDA. 4. Derive valuation from the three methodologies using adjusted EBITDA. 5. Build the valuation football field. 6. Customize the financial model for specific transactions and find the prescriptive analytic. Gathering Historical Financials Once the M&A mandate is won, we must now underwrite the deal. In order to underwrite the financial product M&A, one needs to gather historical financials. This typically means trailing three years at minimum and ideally last five years. This will aid us in building a financial statement model, explicit forecast, and ultimately a valuation football field to determine a final purchase price. Building the financial statement model. Once we have historical financials we can build the financial statement model which will be the basis for modeling various scenarios ultimately driving valuation. Finding adjusted EBITDA. After receiving the financials for the target, the investment banker must calculate adjusted EBITDA. EBITDA and total owner's benefits are proxies for cash flow but not true cash flow of the business as there will be capex and working capital deducted to get to true cash flow. This analytic will be the basis for extrapolating a valuation using the three methodologies. Derive valuation from the three methodologies using adjusted EBITDA. After arriving at adjusted EBITDA, the investment banker will determine public comps and extrapolate a multiple for the target company adjusting for size of the company. From there, precedent transactions will be spread to determine a mean multiple. Build the valuation football field. Finding the midpoint of the valuation methodologies can be used for determining valuation but the range is often communicated to the client or potential buyers. Customize the financial model for specific pro forma transactions and find the prescriptive analytic. After building out the financial statement model, we can build the transaction-specific model related to particular buyers that have expressed or may have interest.